Welcome to the very last video before Eid. So I guess in the last video, all of you have seen the difference between qualitative, quantitative and mixed method research. Now in this very last video, we are going to discuss different types of research based on time horizon. So as I showed you earlier, that there are two types of research based on time horizon. One is cross-sectional research and the other one is longitudinal research. Now there is a very simple difference between these two types of research. Pay attention for the next one or two minutes and then it will be very clear to you. So let's start our discussion with cross-sectional research first. What is cross-sectional research? Here it goes. It is a type of research design where data is collected from any given sample only once. So again, I collect data from a sample only one time, not more than that. So here, information on the same sample is collected only once. So two important points. Data or information has to be collected from the same sample and it has to be collected only once. Don't worry, let me give you an example and it will be very clear to you very soon. So let's look at the example. Now say, my research question is this, what is the daily average hours spent on BUX? So in order to find an answer to this research question, I select five of you. So I select Shoikot, Raisa, Afra, Wahid and Shobut. So you guys are my sample. Now I ask you this question, so what is the average hours that you spend on a daily basis watching the videos on BUX? So what am I doing here again? U5 are my sample and I am collecting data only once, not more than that. So you tell me the average number of hours you spend on BUX on a daily basis and then I calculate the average of 5 of you and that is the answer. So this is an example of cross-sectional research. Why? Because here I'm collecting data only once. All right, now let's move on to longitudinal research. What is this research? Let's take a look. This is a type of research design where data is collected from a fixed sample or the same sample more than once at different points in time. So here is the difference. We collect data more than once at different points in time. So in the earlier case, we collected data from the same sample only once. But here, we are collecting data from a sample more than once at different points in time. So here, the sample remains the same over time. And by collecting data from that same sample more than once, the researcher can compare the collected data. So you have two sets of data and you can compare one of them with the other set. Let me give you an example here. Say the research question is something like this. What is the change in Ronaldo's performance because of the three month long training attended? So say we have designed a training program for Ronaldo to improve his performance even further. Now, if we want to compare his performance, the number of goals scored before and after the training, first, we have to collect data before the training. So what was his performance before the training? How many goals did he score before any training was given? Let's say he scored one goal every match before the training. So here, I'm collecting data from him before the training. Now, let's say we are done providing the training. Now, after he has done the training for three months, then I have to collect data from him again. What data? How many goals is he scoring after attending the training? So what did I do here? I collected data from the same person more than once at different points in time. Once before the training and once after the training. Now I can compare these two scores and find out the effectiveness of the training provided. So this is an example of longitudinal research. So to summarize, in cross-sectional research, we collect data from the same sample once, 
On the other hand, in longitudinal research, we collect data from the same sample more than once at different points in time. So I guess we are done here. So for practice purpose, let me give you two more examples. Now, by reading the question that I'm going to reveal now, try to find out, is this an example of a longitudinal research or a cross-sectional research? Number one, <laughs> does having Katsi before the exam improve exam scores? So is this an example of a longitudinal research or a cross-sectional research? Think for five seconds. All right, obviously it is a longitudinal research example. Why? Because I want to see whether having Katsi improves the exam score. So in order to compare the performance and find out the improvement, I need to collect data about the exam scores before having Katsi and after having Katsi. So what I'm going to do here is number one, I'm going to make you sit for an exam and calculate your exam scores before you have Katsi. And after that, I'm going to give you a plate of Katsi, make sure that you are enjoying the Katsi to the fullest. And after that, I'm going to make you sit for another exam and calculate your exam scores again. So I'm collecting data before you have Katsi and I'm collecting data after you had your Katsi. And then I'm going to compare these two scores and find out whether there was any improvement in exam scores. So that's why it is a longitudinal research. Now, what can be an example of a cross-sectional research? Here it goes. What is the average height of the students of BAS CO2 Pharma 2020? Here, I'm just asking about the average height in the class. Now, if I ask all of you about your height and calculate the average, and find out the result. So in that case, I'm collecting data only once. I don't have to collect data more than once and then compare anything because the question doesn't ask me to do something like that. So that's why it's a cross-sectional research because I'm collecting data once. All right, we are done with all the different types of research. So we have seen different types of research based on research question, based on data collection method, and based on time horizon. So yes, we are done here. It's over. No more studies for the time being. So Eid Mubarak everyone. Have a great and wonderful Eid.